Hi guys, in this video I'll be comparing Miro and Milanote, the two popular online collaboration tools that offer a variety of features for brainstorming, project management, and creative work. Both tools have their own strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to choose the right one for your needs. So let's get started. Miro is generally considered to be more user-friendly than Milanote, with a more intuitive interface and easier to learn features. Milanote has a more minimalist design, but it can be more difficult to learn how to use, especially for users who are new to online collaboration tools. Miro has a wider range of features than Milanote, including a wider variety of shapes, sticky notes, and other elements that can be used to create whiteboards. Miro also has a more robust set of collaboration features such as real-time editing and commenting. Milanote, on the other hand, is more focused on helping users to organize their thoughts and ideas. Milanote boards are made up of cards, which can contain text, images, videos, and other types of content. Cards can be arranged in any order, and users can easily add new cards or move existing cards around. Miro has a much wider library of templates than Milanote. Miro's templates are well-designed and cover a wide range of use cases, from brainstorming and project management to design and marketing. Milanote's template library is smaller, but it still includes a good selection of templates for common tasks. Both Miro and Milanote offer integrations with a variety of other tools, but Miro has a wider range of integrations available. Miro integrates with popular project management tools like Jira and Asana, as well as design tools like Figma and Sketch. Milanote also integrates with a variety of tools, but its integration list is not as extensive as Miro's. And for the pricing, Miro and Milanote offer different pricing plans, with both tools offering free plans for individual users. Miro provides four pricing plans, a free plan with limited features, a team plan starting at $10 per user per month, a business plan beginning at $20 per user per month, and an enterprise plan with custom pricing based on specific requirements. On the other hand, Milanote offers three plans. A free plan with limited features. The paid plan is available at $9.99 per user per month if billed annually, or $12 per user per month if billed monthly. Lastly, the team plan costs $49 per month. So, which online collaboration tool is right for you? Miro and Milanote are both excellent tools, but they have different strengths and weaknesses. If you're looking for a tool that's easy to use and has a wide range of features, then Miro is a good choice. Miro is also a good choice for teams that need to collaborate on a variety of different projects, as it offers a wide range of integrations with other tools. If you're looking for a tool that is more focused on helping you to organize your thoughts and ideas, then Milanote is a good choice. Milanote is also a good choice for teams that are on a budget, as it offers a team plan that is less expensive than Miro's. Again, both Miro and Milanote are excellent online collaboration tools, and the best choice for you will depend on your specific needs and requirements. If you're looking for a tool that's easy to use and has a wide range of features, then Miro is a good choice. If you're looking for a tool that is more focused on helping you to organize your thoughts and ideas, then Milanote is a good choice. And that's it for this video. To get started, simply sign up using the first link provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching, and take care.